We're doing a test, folks. Hopefully this time I push the record button and don't do all the news when I think I was recording. Slot Car News, sponsored by LEB Hobbies, your specialist in home and hobby slot car racing. news take two <laughs> you see what ha ha happened was the record the screen that I have above the camera uh, the battery died because I think it was so cold down here in any case you didn't come to hear about that um, I just did that first news as a run through where I didn't actually hit the record button anyway Lancia from <laughs> Area 71. Awesome stuff. They're, sh they're showing that. Uh, I think I saw it late last night. Um, yeah, 132. And I'm probably thinking 124 as well at some point. But it looks really cool. Obviously, this car is a uh, bit of a niche car, let's say. But um, I know a guy out on the West Coast that's going to be very happy to see yet another Lancia available. Whether he actually gets it or not, Monty, I'm looking at you. Who knows? Scale Auto. <laughs> like I've already said this before, because I just did. <laughs> With some 132 releases, a pair of RSRs in the very tasty livery that you see here. I believe these are coming in the uh, Home Series as well as the R Racer Series. A pair of the High Nose Benetton cars, Formula One cars from the mid-90s. Those look very good as well. I'm not a huge fan of that livery, but I know there's plenty of folks that are. And there you go. Enjoy. They're coming at you live very, very soon. These, I'm very excited about. A pair of new NSX liveries. Ooh, baby. Those look very, very nice. Uh, yeah. The NSXs are a big, big, big favorite of mine. There you go. That was one of the first. I think the cat one was the other first as well. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Beautiful stuff. We have the Carrera truck, the track cleaning truck that has uh, arrived and I believe is shipping to dealers as we speak, already arrived at dealers um, as we speak, already being shipped out by dealers, hopefully as we speak, and now at a more reasonable price. I think some uh, there were some folks that Maybe got them early here in North America and they were charging a fair amount for them. Well, now you got them at a fairly reasonable price. Uh, this is a very cool truck. We had uh, taken it around my track here uh, last weekend during the live stream. Yes, I do plan on doing a live stream this weekend. Very cool. Also, uh, Lancias have shown up as well from Carrera. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. The Ferrari, uh, which, by the way, you can put, this is the four... Uh, 9.8. You can use the NSR rubber tires on this guy. The stock McLaren uh, 21 by 11s, I think they are, fit perfectly on the uh, on the Ferrari, the Carrera Ferrari, and make it run. Oh, yeah, beautiful stuff. There we are. Uh, what else do we have? Skelectric arrivals. The double crossing. Uh, the X. X going to give it to you. Uh, double crossing corner pieces are now back in stock. These had been uh, uh, out of stock for quite a while and not entirely sure why, but Scale Electric have run another batch of them and they are now at your local Scale Electric dealer and or from Scale Electric USA. I would encourage you to buy them. There we are. We ha also have a whole bunch of arrivals that I'm just going to kind of show you, or I may have already started to show you as we've been talking here. Uh, Red AMG, uh, Golf, McLaren, a Porsche 911, a Ford Rally car, a yellow Aston Martin. There's uh, the, the, the Fab One, great big pink thing that they released. It's a crazy car, and uh, I didn't watch the cartoon, but or the, the live whatever. I, I didn't watch it. Um, but look, whatever, enjoy folks. <laughs> I'm not gatekeeping fun these days. Uh, the one that's the, the, uh, the pretty exciting one for me personally 
uh, I think is the, uh, the, the, this other team car of the, uh, Multimatic Mustang Ford GT4 car. Um, I think this is a beautiful livery on this car and, uh, the, uh, the mold on the, the Mustang, the GT4 Mustang, I've always thought was a particularly good one. And, uh, I don't really know why a lot of people aren't talking about that car online. There's been a number of liveries on it now, and I think it's a pretty good looking car. And, um, hopefully, uh, Skelectric will send one along one of these days, uh, to me for a sample review or whatever. Can I crumple this up again now that I've done the news for a second time? Face palm. Bad at your job. Anywho, folks, I'll be right back after the racing and show news. And please check these out. There's been a whole bunch that I actually have added in the last week or so. And um, there might be one near you. If there is, please go and support them. Uh, the only way that we get more of these things in the U.S. is if, you know, we actually go and support these things. Uh, I probably should go to one or two myself, although none of them are particularly close to me, frankly, a couple hours drive one way in any case. Stick around through the racing and show news and I'll wrap up the video right after this. Ah, hey, pretty good shot. Alrighty, everybody. Um, I do plan on trying to do a live stream this weekend. I do have a uh, uh, fairly set days off for another couple weeks anyway until the uh, basketball and or wrestling high school playoffs for the states. In any case, um, yeah, I don't have any... Yeah, I do have a couple new cars I can still put on the track that we haven't uh, we haven't had some fun with yet. Uh, what am I saying? There's a, lots of new cars here, actually. In any case, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the likes and the shares and everything. And uh, thanks for looking at all the videos I've been putting out recently. I've been trying to do my best to update uh, with new videos when I get better uh, resolution photos, like particularly on the NSR stuff. I got much nicer, uh, I guess you'd call well, renderings. Yeah, not CAD files, but renderings. And that's why I update, just because I want you all to have the uh, best quality photos that uh, that I have available to me. And, um, yeah, and I'll keep putting out the walk-arounds of the Skelectric stuff, because I think this stuff is pretty fun. And I'm really super glad that they released all these photos of the cars to, uh, to the public, all different angles, and uh, definitely some fun stuff. And I really appreciate that. I know the folks uh, out there do as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks very much, folks. I'll see you all again real soon.